Welcome to my channel. In this video I will be showing you how to remove your front disc and pads of your Citroen Relay. You would need to rotate your steering wheel to get better working area but before you do so make sure you place appropriate host or jack to your vehicle as safety is number one priority. I realize that a bulge job has been done to the brakes compartment. If a part was broken or has been damaged, I strongly advise you to replace it. Now to remove the brake calipers, you would need to remove the two dust covers. This cover was stubborn so I used a flat head but you can also use a lubricant. Dust covers are used to prevent any dirt, debris and water to enter the caliper bolts. Using a 6mm hex bit, remove the caliper bolts. Sometimes caliper bolts can get stuck. The best way to loosen the bolt is to use lubricant. You should always change your caliper bolts when replacing the brakes or the disc even if there is no visible damage or rust to the bolts. Now, rewind the caliper piston using a flat head, place the flat head between the caliper and disc and extend the caliper. Once the caliper is removed, place it where there is no tension to the caliper pipes or the wires. It's time to remove the brake pads. Normally pads should come straight off but in my case, the pads were stuck to the shims as copper grease were not used. However, new pads come with the shims so you don't need to reuse the old shim. To remove the shim, you just need to pull it. Fitting the new shim is also easy. The middle of the shim sits between the caliper holder and brake disc. Using a 40mm hex bit, remove the caliper holder. The bolts are stubborn so using heavy duty tools is less painstaking. When removing the caliper holder, you need to be careful for the disc to not injure you as the caliper holder is what's holding the disc. Once the caliper holder is removed, you have safety removed your vehicle's front brake disc and pads. Thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to comment, like and subscribe.